Hey Spirit Tribe, this is Gigi with Spirit Readings and I'm so glad and so happy that you're able to join me here today. This is going to be a timeless reading for Cancer. So, you know, all placements, wherever Cancer shows up in your birth chart, you know, for me personally, um, Cancer shows up in Venus and in one of my nodes. I can't remember off the top of my head which one right now, but you know, there she is. So I too will pay attention to the messages that come through here. Uh, this reading is for the general collective. So, you know, there are so many of us, so not everything may resonate and that's perfectly okay. Um, if it you know, if it doesn't, you just set it to the side for someone else or for later even. You know, it may make more sense as events continue to unfold. Anything is possible when you believe. Um, if it doesn't apply, you just go on ahead and you let her fly. You know, no big deal. And um, everything that you need to know about me, about this channel, how to get a hold of me, um, the decks that I'm using that can all be found in the description down below. So make sure you check that out. So all right, Cancer. All placements. What does Cancer need to know here, Spirit? All right, so first up. We have the Three of Winter, the Rose-Breasted Grosbeak showing up here. Sadness is a part of the life, but you don't have to endure it alone. You may need a little time to heal, but once you work your way through the emotions, you'll be stronger than before. So, you know, there could be something... Um, some kind of sadness that you're holding on to and um you know you may think oh i'm healed from it and then another layer pops up and this could have taken place for you in the winter time it doesn't necessarily have to be but um it, it's it's coming up in waves and you know you may feel like oh I need to isolate I need to stay away from people but you know that could just be making it worse instead of you know getting it all out with someone who loves you and cares about you and supports you unconditionally can can go a long long way and you know someone that understands that that grief and healing um, is is a process and and sometimes it's a lifelong process you guys especially if it is a huge devastating loss and that's kind of what I'm picking up on like loss of a parent loss of a, a spouse a loved one a, a child even you guys so um, so many different things but this loss is, is definitely a big one a huge one but you're not alone you guys and whoever that loved one is i feel like they watch over you probably more than you realize but um you know because they don't want to see you sad or or anything like that so we have the cow spirit. The miracles are endless, you guys. Wow, believe that, you know, it's unlimited, you guys. This is something that's coming in here. Oh my goodness, I, I really love that. And we also have the chameleon spirit act as if you know act as if it's already done it's already happened you guys you know see yourself as as healed and whole because you you are you know and it's a beautiful wonderful amazing thing you guys you know so much is wanting to come in and bless you and in big ways and you just have to 
allow it be open to receive be ready what else does cancer need to know here for cancer we have dawn coming in sexuality the masculine and feminine within you are receiving healing now so you know you're healing your own divine masculine divine feminine energies you know your very core of your being you guys is being healed and you know going within doing that work um, because it's vital it's necessary um, it's important and um, getting out of your own way you know a little bit here so let's see what's going on with love now this is not just romantic love um, only um, you know it could be dealing with family and friends as well but it's a sacred union for you honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred you guys yes i love that and you know maybe you've been hurt in the past and maybe there is still some kind of like a grudge type thing that maybe you have been feeding energy whether you're aware of it or not but it's it's time to let go of that and let yourself heal on all levels so we do have this turkey showing up someone is behaving stupidly so you know if it's not you um, it could definitely be someone that you are dealing with, you know, whether it is your significant other, whether it's spouse, um, boyfriend, girlfriend, fiance, uh, you know, or some kind of family member, some kind of friend, you guys. And, um, you know, I feel like you are really working overtime with this person is something that's coming through you know maybe you're like oh if you would just change and you know expecting them to change but they're like mm, I, don't, I don't think I want to change you know and having to love them from afar give them some space let them have the time to grow and, and come to the conclusion that change is necessary so um, it can be hard to, you know, stand by and watch people self-destruct, but sometimes that's exactly what you have to do. So, my goodness, is that ever a rough spot to be in? Alright, let's see what's going on with, with work, with finances. For you, Cancer, work and finances. What do we got for Cancer? What is coming through here? Thank you, Spirit. We have communication coming in. I am a masterful communicator with the ability to say what I think and feel in a way that doesn't involve conflict. Watch as I dodge the bullets of sass and snark. Marvel as I avoid the traps of passive aggressiveness and victimhood. Be amazed that even though it's sometimes stressful, I choose to communicate an act that saves us all from the grips of certain unspoken seethings. So, you know, learning to communicate in ways that are, you know, not destructive you know and really tasting and testing our words before we let them just fly on out you know and that can be a really hard thing to do sometimes so let's see what else is coming out here for you we do have the kangaroo unsettled time or unsettled times need to plan ahead so you know you're being warned of this ahead of time you know whenever you come across this you guys so you know picture you know 
anything that could go wrong, you know, it's like that saying, um, hope for the best, prepare for the worst type of thing. And, you know, you may have to have backup plans is, is something else that, you know, spirit is uh, giving me here as well. So, all right, let's see what is affecting our lives, you know, our, our happiness, our, our success, the very root of everything right so all right let's see what we get here thank you spirit for cancer what's going on in your life and how can we make the answer a little more simple for you <laughs> be patient you know sometimes we do have to wait our turn because you know it gives things um a chance to be worked out behind the scenes on our behalf you guys you know um we don't know how hard our guides and our angels actually work to make things work out for our highest and greatest good and you know being patient is like woo. i do not want to you know um for some of us we may have that drive-through mentality but that by the time i place my order and i get pulled around i expect my order to be hot fresh and ready you know and you know a lot of times we don't check the bag and what happens <laughs> half our order is, is all messed up right but you do have this unicorn coming in here use your intuition to make beneficial changes you guys so you know being patient has um has its virtues you know kind of like seeing the knight of pentacles you know how he slows down he takes his time and he doesn't miss anything right and you know good things are trying to happen good things are trying to come in for you cancer and you know i feel like you're you're more at ease with giving than you are with receiving so you know take the time to really open yourself up see that you are worthy of all of this goodness that is trying to come in and bless you abundantly is something that i'm hearing here as well well let's get you a moonology message here moonology message for cancer let's see what is going on here for cancer we have show the world the real you full moon in aquarius so you know for some of you you may be like eh, if i show people the real me you know they'll they'll think i'm too sensitive or or this or that and you know what so what let yourself be sensitive let yourself be vulnerable be who you are um yes have your strong healthy boundaries in place so you know that people don't take advantage of you or you know anything like that you guys you know you definitely want to protect yourself protect your energy but that doesn't mean that you have to hold yourself back from from being who you are because you are beautiful you are wonderful you are amazing and i think it's time that you really saw that for yourself you know i i feel like you don't see yourself um the way other people see you and you have a new beginning waiting to unfold for you here you guys you know i feel like this is something you've been praying for been meditating about for quite some time and you know it could involve a child um whether you've been trying to get pregnant and haven't had much success or um you know something on the home front here you guys though and it's a miracle you know is, is what spirit gave me and i believe miracles have already come up once in this reading already so let's see what the angels have for you here cancer what is it that your angels want you to know here okay 
take action. You know, whatever this is, you guys, um, you know, you can't just sit on the sidelines and, and wait for it to be dropped in your lap. You know, you have to take action. You've, you've done all the planning, you've done all the preparing, and now you're being given the green light. So don't let fear, doubt, and worry come in and, and try to rob you of whatever this is, you guys. And, and your girl's nosy. Let me know what it is. <laughs> All right, Cancer, I hope that you enjoyed this reading, um, the messages here. Uh, if you did, please smash the heck out of that like button. Drop your comments down below if you would like to see more readings like this. Um, and if you haven't already and you find you keep coming back here, please subscribe to the channel. It is free to do so. And it means so very much to me, you guys. I love seeing growth. And... Um, from the bottom of my heart, I love and appreciate each and every single one of you, and I want to say thank you, blessed be, namaste, and goodbye.